I've always liked the 40 foot size. I think it's, it's a great size boat and it's big enough to get along, but it's small enough to be able to side, sail inside the you know, relatively shallow waters of the Solis. I've been sort of watching it for a, a year since Robbie Greenhaller started it. And then uh, Hannes Weimer at uh, Premier, he said he'd uh, had a boat halfway through build that was a cancel order. So we uh, agreed to push on with it. Spooky, which was the predecessor of this, was a very successful boat. And we looked at all the numbers of Rebellion and thought that uh, there's no reason why uh, we shouldn't have a good boat, really. I wouldn't have gone for a car keep boat if, if Spooky had been, uh, you know, and not a successful boat. And the feedback that I got from people I trust on the Solent was that a Rebellion had bursts of speed and they just need to perhaps uh, just sail it a bit more and uh, get used to it a bit more. So I, I think the basis for the boat was there and Sean and I between us did some work on extending the boat a little bit with a scoop at the back and changing the rig a little bit um, with Dave Lenz from North South. You know, some of the preferences that I had for a slightly different foil and it was good to work with Sean, you know, I mean, he, he listens, which is always difficult for designers. Most of them, they think they know everything, but there's quite a lot of us have had, you know, a lot of time in boats and there's people that I trust like Jules Salter and uh, and Dave Lenz who all inputted and I think we've come up with a, a really strong boat. The boat's never weak. We're particularly strong upwind I think and we're, we're good downwind and in the breeze and the light so it's a lovely boat to sail, it's got good balance. You know balance for me is, is everything. I've sort of got a little bit of an obsession with details and the detailing that went into the boat is good and there's no question that the the quality of the build from Premier is, is right up there. So it's just a, it's just a good package, you know? Um, and that's proved this weekend, other than the fact that I screwed up one of the starts and we have to go back, our worst result that we counted was a third. You know, that's, I think that shows how good the boat is. I've got a good crew, um, guys that I've sailed with for, uh, you know, some time before and also brought in some guys who are, you know, who are right at the top of their game. We haven't had to do too much to the boat, it's just been fine tuning. Uh, I'm still talking to Sean at the moment about making some little improvements, so we've, we've got plenty to go. The crew handling's getting better, um, we've got a bit of a development programming going on with the sails, but you know, we're comfortable with the basic boat that we've got. I mean, the Solent's a funny place because, um, you know, everybody works very hard to get to the first mark first. And I think it's important, but the big thing in the Solent is to actually get to the first bottom mark first, because then you've got the choice of which way to go. You know, everybody knew that Rebellion was very quick, so I think what we did with this boat, we put a slightly different foil on it. Um, have we given up any of the downwind speed? I don't think so. We're plenty fast enough. But the ability that we have got with this boat is that we can run slightly deeper at the same speed. And that gives us a lot of tactical options. We are fast. The first big regatta of the season, you know, 11 boats out. Um, you know, a bit unfortunate for Otrevez today because they had a bit of a bad day today. They were over the line twice at the start. So they did today what we did once yesterday, they did twice today. So a little bit unfortunate for them. They have the ability to go high or go fast upwind. So they're pretty tough to beat and they'll be tough to beat all season, I think. Morning, have you got some champagne on ice? I don't drink champagne, to be honest. Uh, Matt, I, it gives me a headache. So uh, I think we might just have a couple of beers. I'll leave the champagne to my wife.